a new pillar of development. China has made a top-level design of innovation for the next three decades. A highlight is to develop new industrial clusters that's led and backed up by technology. The outline lists nine areas, including information, intelligent manufacturing, modern agriculture, modern energy, ecological environment protection, ocean and space, new type urbanization, health, and modern service. These are the key areas we will concentrate on in the future. China's total R&D expenditure exceeded 1.4 trillion yuan last year, or about 215 billion U.S. dollars. More than 77 percent of this came from the business sector. But in China, key and core technologies are still controlled by other countries. Many industries are still at the lower to medium ends of the global value chain. The priority now is to speed up converting college and research institutes' research results into business. First, we abolish the approval procedure. We give them rights to deal with their research results and make profit out of them. Researchers can get over 50 percent of profits. The most important thing is to set up a service mechanism to help companies, colleges and institutes with the conversion. In a clear timetable, China aims to become an innovative country by 2020, move to the front of innovative countries by 2030, and an innovation power by 2050. Some experts are expecting that by innovation and entrepreneurship, China can win itself off excessive reliance on natural resources and steer to a path blessed by human intelligence. In this way, medium to high growth will be maintained and the economy lifted to a higher level. Wu Guoxiao, CCTV, Beijing.